Hello, my name is Dr. Piru Dawan, and today in this video, we will talk about how a kidney patient can prevent kidney failure with the help of baking soda. We all know that elevation in create nine levels is a matter of concern for all kidney patients, and these levels keep elevating every month. Even when you are taking medications, its value gets increased every time. So, in such cases, we have to either stop them or slow them down. That is why we have made this video to explain the benefits of baking soda. If you look at your prescription, you will often see sodium bicarbonate is present in the Nidosis and Savasis tablets. Now, here we are talking about raw baking soda, so it is necessary to understand the quantity we should take in. But first, let us discuss the benefits of baking soda for kidney failure patients. As the kidney starts to fail, it loses its functionalities as well and begin to create problems in the body. The function of kidney is to clear out create 9, urea, and other toxins from the body through urine. But there is even more, it also controls the pH level of the blood. This means it controls and regulates the acid and maintains the normal pH value in the body. To know about the acidic values, you can consider your urine reports as well. You may have noticed that your urine report says that urine sample is acidic, but do we really know where does that acid come from? Basically, kidneys remove acid through urine filtration. But when the kidneys are not functioning well, it can't remove create 9 and urea from body, and that results in the accumulation of acid in the blood. So, when the pH value of blood becomes more acidic, it constantly reaches the kidney to get filtered out. But due to that acidic nature, it damages the kidneys even more. One more thing you need to understand that once the create 9 value crosses 4 mg slash dl, it elevates even faster. Means when the value was 2, it would take months to get to 4, but after 4, it will increase in few days only. These rapid increases in the values damage the kidneys and create a serious condition called metabolic acidosis. This condition occurs when the acid starts to accumulate in the blood. Well, the kidneys are damaged and it cannot remove the acid. So, we have to apply some countermeasures to protect the kidneys. Just like when someone comes in contact with an acid and we apply creams to neutralize the acid. Same way, we have to apply something that can neutralize the acid in the body and baking soda is the substance that helps such conditions. You can also use soda in normal life as well. Like, when you get acidity, you can take in no that also contains baking soda. So, same way, to control the acid in the body, you need to take your baking soda tablets continuously. But we do not know the levels on acid in our blood. So, we have to take enough tablets to get relief from metabolic acidosis. Now, the question arises, what are the ways to know the dosage and effects of baking soda? To answer this, first you need to know the acidic levels in the body. Most of the doctors test your serum bicarbonate along with KFT tests. So, if your serum bicarbonate's values are low, that means there is more acid in the body and can damage our kidneys. So, I advise all kidney patients to consume sodium bicarbonate tablets. Talking about the effects, then sodium bicarbonate has no adverse effects even if you take it in slightly higher quantity. So, I hope you have understood the benefits of baking soda and how it can protect your kidneys from failure. Now, take your medicinal prescriptions and search them on Google. You will come to know that there are medicines for blood pressure, sugar, vitamin D, iron supplement. But you will get surprised after knowing that there are no medications for the kidney treatment. And nothing that lowers your create 9 level or increase your GFR level but there are chances that you will see baking soda tablets in your prescription. And you must not avoid taking those baking soda tablets because they will reduce your rate of kidney damage. Now, the question is despite of taking these tablets, why kidney is getting damaged? For that, you need to have the complete knowledge of kidneys and how it works. So, I would recommend you to watch all my previous videos one by one to get the answers for all your questions like, what is kidney failure and why does it occur? and how we can reduce CREATE-9 and increase the GFR levels. Also, with patients' testimonials, you will get an idea how you can reduce CREATE-9 and increase GFR. With this, I would like to say goodbye and see you in the next video. Till then, work on your kidneys and stay safe.